Hey folks, JD here. I'm carrying on the 10 toys for Christmas. This is what I'm bringing you next. The flashing crystal ball. It's a solo helicopter. Now, this is actually quite ingenious. Now, I bought one of these for myself going back a very long time ago. And years ago, in fact. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then in doing these 10 toys for Christmas, I thought I'd bring it back and have a look at it. This is a new one that I bought. And essentially, you do get a few little things inside this pack. So let's start off first with the helicopter. So the helicopter is quite simply a ball with two sets of um, balance bars, fly bars, as well as two sets of propellers. So when you turn on the helicopter, you get this really nice, look at this on the wall, whoa! You get this really nice effect on the wall of the LEDs inside here, as well as after a couple of seconds, as you saw, the motor kicks up. Now I'll go into the safety features of this a little bit more in the actual test of the video in a couple of minutes. Now you can charge this, you get a little charger with this particular pack, you just plug in the bottom here, charge up and then turn on and it's quite as easy as that. You have some sensors under here, so literally you just hold your hand underneath and as you're holding your hand, as you move your hand up, the helicopter moves. If you move your hand away, it decreases altitude. It's perfect for indoors. I would say be very careful if you are going to take this outdoors. It's about 15 grams. It weighs next to nothing. It is going to fly away. But this is very, very nice. Very plasticky, easy to break, but I think it can be a couple of hours of enjoyment there. And actually, when I was actually testing this, it's pretty good exercise because you're running after it. You're moving your hand underneath it. It's keeping your hand and eye coordination actually very, very good as well as you're actually moving quite quickly to keep your hand underneath it all in all i quite like it it's a nice little toy um, and it can actually provide a few hours of enjoyment but i would say be careful to move everything out of the way before you get this flying in the air just in case because you are moving backwards and forwards quite a bit in order to keep this in one particular place so that is the ball then we have a on and off transmitter, so you can turn on the, the helicopter and turn it off with this. It does not control it, your hand controls it. This it just turns on and turns off the helicopter. And then of course we looked at the charger for the helicopter, and then we get a nice little instruction manual. It is a bilingual manual, but the English is right at the start here, and it shows you what all of the sensors are and how to use the helicopter, as well as some do's and some don'ts. Now. I've had quite a bit of fun with this. I've done the one recording of this particular flight, uh, which you'll see after this video, and I've actually done a few more. Just, well, why not for the hell of it? I've had so much fun in doing it. So let's break from this and let's have a look and see this in action. Okay, so I've left this room really dark. There's a reason for that, because as soon as you turn this on using the little on and off button at the bottom, it lights up. Within a couple of seconds, it starts, and then, you can put your hand underneath it and direct it wherever you want to. Now it's good for just a little bit of fun. See? And then if you keep your hand directly underneath it, you should find that it moves about quite nicely. When you want to stop it, you just hold on to it and then you can just knock off using the on and off button underneath it like that. Now it does say that this is for indoor use, it's got a pretty good fail safe. If it does come up against anything, it'll just stop. So then from that point then, just knock it off and knock it back on. I don't recommend you do that, but I'm just showing you on camera exactly what happens. Now, if you've got low ceilings like I have, it's a really good bit of fun for that because you can keep your hand underneath it a little way and just hold it at that particular uh, altitude and it'll just spin around, look at that. Looks really pretty. Looks really nice. You can drop your hand quite slowly. All your movements have to be slow in order for it to work properly. So you can raise your hand and it raises. You can lower it and it lowers, but you have to be very slow. As for changing direction, with this particular one, it's you just have to grab the ball like I've been doing and just moving your hand, moving it wherever you want it, and then let go within a you know within a couple of seconds. But it's a good little bit of fun, is this. And it, it, it's very, you know, it's not technologically advanced. It has got a nice little bit of technology in it, as in the sensor that just senses where your hand is. But it is a very, very, very cool little toy. For a couple of quid, you can't really go wrong with that. Rechargeable in the bottom without, you know, so you, you haven't got any problems there. 
If you are going to take it outdoors, I'd be very careful. This weighs next to nothing, as we saw in the unboxing. So, you know, you, you are going to find that... You... Ooh, <laughs> you are going to find that it will blow away. Now, I think the battery is going in this. But it's still a couple of centimetres away from my hand. If I can push it up a little bit. Yeah, I think... Ooh! Ooh! There we are. That's it running away with me there a little bit. But it's very nice, isn't it? Very pretty. You make some nice patterns on the ceiling too. But all in all, it's a great little bit of fun. Great little stocking filler for the RC enthusiast. Any age, you know. It is just a great little toy. Oh, if I hold it there for a couple of seconds, you can hear the motor is starting to die a little bit. But that's no problem because you can just charge it using the charger and get it back up in the air within a couple of minutes. So let's knock that off. That is a good little bit of fun. Do you know what? It, it, it's so basic, but it's so good. You don't need a lot of room in order to use it. You know, it, it has a pretty good fail safe in so much that if it hits anything, it just knocks itself off. Oh, that was a... Oh, was that low battery? Perhaps it was, perhaps it wasn't. But, yeah, I like it. I think it's a nice little, nice little toy. You know, I think it's really pretty cool. And it fails safe if you turn it upside down as well. That's good. Okay. So all in all, it's got quite a lot going for it, in fact. It's got a lot more fail safes built into this than some quadcopters I've flown that, that, that actually have. Charging ports and everything at the bottom. Uh, yeah, all in all, you get a couple of minutes of flight out of it and then charge it for about 20, 20, 25 minutes and then take it off and then take it back up again and it keeps going. All in all though, folks, I think this is a winner for me. I really enjoy it. I think, honestly, even though I'm giving all these away to one guy, one subscriber, I, even though I'm giving all this away to one subscriber, I honestly think I'm going to be buying another one of these for myself because it's just so much fun. All right then, folks. Well, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.